Thank you, Madam Vice President. The full version of this statement will be on external. We welcome the Special Rapporteur on Right to Health and thank her for the reports. We agree with Madam Rapporteur that equality should be in the center of operationalization of Right to Health, and especially at this time of pandemic. In the middle of pandemic, Azerbaijan became victim of another act of aggression by Armenia, when starting from September 2020, Armenia targeted densely populated areas of Azerbaijan with intensive fire. Throughout the last year's war, it committed innumerable war crimes and crimes against humanity, while attacking our cities, including hospitals and medical personnel, having heavy implications on the realization of right to health of our citizens. Moreover, the landmines planted by Armenia in our territories remain to be the deadliest threat to life, as well as physical and mental health of our population. Therefore, it is of utmost importance that the international community puts appropriate pressure on Armenia to release all the maps of minefields in our territories. While Armenian representatives here attempt to present the situation in the liberated territories of our country as a humanitarian catastrophe, let us inform that according to the recent data from UNHCR, less than 35,000 persons returned to our territories from Armenia who continue to receive humanitarian aid since Azerbaijan provided access for humanitarian goods from its own territory. Armenia also presents black and lies on the issues of access for humanitarian organizations. In this regard, we remind that Azerbaijan has already reached agreement on UNHCR's mission to conflict-affected areas and is fully prepared to accept that mission. I thank you.